good morning. You know, I still get, I, first I don't know why I'm still followed around like, I keep to myself a metal detect. I pick my children up from school, take them. They only stay home when they don't feel well. I don't get, you know, they pass every year. Since my wife has passed, they pass every grade every year. And this last year, all of a sudden, I, I, I feel I get uh, cruel and unusual punishment inflicted. I mean, after realizing it and talking about it with people, you would think it would stop. But no, um, last night it, I had a horrible pain that resonated through my whole body. Now I'm dizzy, I have a bad headache. Everyone is supposed to have uh, a right to pursue happiness, uh, freedom of speech, the right to pursue of happiness and it feels like I'm not meant to be happy like I don't know but the headache I have feels like when I walked underneath of power line It's crazy. You know, after going through months and months of this, me reading the Bible and quoting it, you know, Saying, Thou who strikes his neighbor in secret shall be cursed. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Basically, you know, the Bible I read from now, all it does is talk about love. And it just doesn't seem like that gets to to anyone. I'm not trying to hinder anyone's life. I don't want to hurt no one, not myself. I just want to live, have a little bit of normalcy, and be happy. So, if, if I can't walk, It's not even right.
Hold on. 18 U.S. Code 241. Conspiracy against right. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in any state, possession, or district, in the free exercise, enjoyment, any right or privilege secured to him by the Constitution, I mean, that's, that's kind of what it feels like. And it shouldn't be like that. I don't do these things to others. I'm not in anyone else's business. I, I don't do none of that. It shouldn't be done to me. You know, I keep asking for whoever is dictating this program or whatever it is to have a change of heart and stop so you do not screw with my children's heads and even worse, mine more than it already has been screwed with. I'm going to read you one Bible verse, and that's it. I'm done. I can't, I can't try to get this point across anymore. O oh, Heavenly Father, Thou understand all Thy children. Through Thy gift of Thy faith, we bring our perplexities to the light of Thy wisdom and receive the blessed encouragement of Thy sympathy and a clearer knowledge of Thy will. Glory be to thee for all thy gracious gifts. Amen. Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open we beseech thee, our eyes to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that rejoicing in the whole creation, that we may learn to serve thee with gladness for the sake of him who all things were made thy son Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, who willest us to give thanks for all things, to dread nothing but to lose of thee, and cast out all our care on thee, who carest for us, preserve us from faithless fears and worldly anxieties, and grant that no clouds of this mortal life may hide from us the light of that love which is immortal, and which thou hast manifested unto us in thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All the Bible does is talk about love. Have a good day. God bless.